Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, April 24th, and I am reading two books. So I am 226 pages into Season of Storms and I am 86% into Map of Bones. And I also have to read two books for a video this week. So I will read those. I will hopefully finish both of these. I mean, I am 86% into Map of Bones, so I'm sure that I'm gonna finish it. And yeah, probably we're gonna finish this as well. And there is a novella after a Map of Bones, so I might read it as well because I mean, it's very short. It's like 30 pages maybe. So we'll definitely read that as well. And then, I don't know, I don't have plans. Like tomorrow is a national holiday and so my mom might have plans because she always wants to go everywhere and I always want to stay home but yeah I probably will might maybe go somewhere and yeah apart from that I don't really have any plans because the carnival is closing also tomorrow so there will no longer be a carnival for me to go to with my friends which is very sad. And also sad is the fact that Book Depository is closing this Wednesday. I already did like my last purchase from there and I am very sad because that's where I like bought pretty much all of my books because it's very hard to find books in English here in Portugal or like if I do it's like they have the most random selection of books and it's almost impossible to find like a complete series or like if you have a series, the books are very different. Like you can have like one paperback and then the next book is a hardback or they're completely different sizes. Or if you do manage to have like a box set, they are so freaking expensive. And so I am sad about that. But yeah, like I said, I have pretty much no plan for this week. And yeah, having said that, Welcome to this vlog. Oh, I actually might do a puzzle because I do still have one puzzle. So I might do that. I might do that. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. Okay, so it is Wednesday, I think, because like yesterday was the holiday and it just felt like Sunday the whole day. And so I am still confused on what day it is, but I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. And I finished Map of Bones on Monday. And I mean, I was so close to the end. It was pretty much just like the conclusion of the story. So my thoughts about it didn't change and my thoughts were that it was a fun book but also nothing like that changed my life but I mean it was 
fun, it was entertaining, and I gave it 3.5 stars. And then I read the novella, which was called Kowalski's in Love, I think, and that was the introduction of a character that is part of Sigma Force, and according to the comments I saw like on that book, I think he's gonna be part of many books in the future of the series. And I mean, he was pretty funny, so I am actually excited for that. And when I saw the title, like, In Love, I was like, am I gonna enjoy this? Because I don't care about love, I don't enjoy romance. I was like, you know, kind of scared. But then the, like, the end of the novella was pretty much, like, showing... Excuse me. And the end of the novella was pretty much showing, like, the love part. And that was actually so funny. So I did, in fact, enjoy it. But it was, like, 30 pages or less. I mean, it was, again, nothing that changed my life. And I gave that one three stars. And then I read The Skeleton Tree for my video this week, which is reading my highest and lowest rated books on my TBR, my Goodreads TBR, and that was the lowest rated. And so in this book, we are basically following a woman called Wendy, and she has been assessed with a house that is for sale, kind of close to where she already lives. And she, she never thought she would be able to like buy the house and move there because it's very very expensive but then she gains some unexpected money and so she does buy the house and she moves there with her family so that's her husband and their three kids and someone that was related to the person who lived there before actually visits Wendy and they start talking about the house and their experiences at the house and all of that and they mention that it might be haunted like some weird things have happened there and also there is a mystery, not in the house, but like in the neighborhood, someone that went missing or maybe was kidnapped or maybe was killed. Yeah. And I was actually excited to read it because I thought it was a haunted house story. And I do love haunted house stories, but it was really not. And like I said in that video, I don't, I wouldn't even consider this a horror book because the only thing we really talked about, we really saw, we really discussed was just Wendy's family issues and everyone have their own problems, especially like Wendy and her husband and Wendy and her oldest child, but the, the two smallest kids as well, but mainly those two. And it was it, it was just like pretty much family drama and there was like one thing that I was like, I wanted it to happen so bad because at least it would be kind of horror. It would be like something really tragic, really bad. And it did happen, but it was literally like the last few paragraphs of the book. So I didn't even get to enjoy the tragic thing that happened in the book. And I mean, maybe it's just not the book for me because if you do like the like reading about you know, family drama, maybe this is a good book for that, but since it's not something I tend to read or something that I tend to enjoy reading, and since I thought it was going to be a horror book about a haunted house, you know, it just didn't work for me, and I gave it two stars. And that is what I have read, and I mean, it sounds way more impressive to say that I have finished three books than to say that I have read like 300 and something pages, because one was a novella, one I was literally at the end of, and the other was around 200 pages, so... Yeah, it sounds better to say that I finished three books. So I finished three books. And I am going to start the highest rated now, which is called Awe. And I know nothing about this book. Obviously, I read the synopsis at some point because I did add it to my TBR. But now I know nothing about it. So, yeah, I'm excited but also scared to read it because, I mean, it is the highest rated and, you know, pressure to enjoy it. Because what if I don't? Because, like, not enjoying the lowest rated is not, you know, that bad or even surprising. But if I don't enjoy the highest rated, like, what is wrong with me? You know what I mean? And yeah, that is what has been happening. Yesterday, we did go out because my mom wanted to. We did go to the beach. I mean, not to the beach, but, like, walking around the beach and the lake and all of that. And had dinner. Dinner? No, lunch. We had lunch. I mean, we also had dinner, but at home. And yeah, that is what happened. I need to go get my identity card because I had to get a new one because the old one was like 
it expired. So I got one maybe like two weeks ago and I got the letter saying that I could go get it. And I think for the first time in my life, I got an identity card with a half decent photo. Never had happened before. I didn't even know that was possible. And not saying it looks good. It doesn't because those photos always look trash, but it looks half decent. At least it's better than the last one. Cause I mean, the, the last one was tragic. And yeah, I need to go get that, but also I don't think I'm gonna go get it today because it's already the afternoon and in the afternoon that is always packed full of people and I don't feel like doing that. So I am probably gonna go there tomorrow morning. And something else I need to do is I need to go to the dentist because I have a wire like behind these, like my lower teeth that was put there after I took my braces off. And like it has broken snapped like it is broken in maybe like three or four places and it broke in either january or february but i was in italy at that time and it's not like i couldn't go to the dentist in italy like i obviously could but i didn't want to and i mean i've been back in portugal since march but i still haven't gone to the dentist and the thing is i didn't it's not that i don't want to go to the dentist because of like the actual being at the dentist part. No, that is not something I have a problem with, actually. My problem is like calling the dentist clinic and scheduling an appointment. That is my problem because if there is something worse than talking to people like face-to-face -face is making a phone call. Like just thinking about it makes me want to cry. So, yeah. Maybe I will never go to the dentist again, you know, not to be dramatic or anything, but maybe I will just not. Anyway, I am going to read that book that I'm not going to say the name again because I might still be saying it wrong. I did look up how to say it, but I mean, me being me, I am probably still saying it wrong anyway. And I should also, I mean, I haven't made any progress in Season of Storms, but I also want to finish that. And I should read Daughter of the Moon Goddess because... I was supposed to read that book this month for a buddy read and it's almost the end of the month and I still haven't picked it up and it's over 500 pages. So, you know, maybe I will read that. Maybe I won't. But yeah, I'll definitely finish Season of Storms. I will read my highest rated book. I will talk to you probably on Friday, which is probably when I'm gonna be filming like the intro and outro of my other video. And I mean, I will have makeup on and I, and I don't want to waste that. So, see you in a couple of days. Hi, hello, it is Friday and I have achieved my goal of finishing both of the books I was reading. I mean, I don't think I was reading Away when I last filmed. Well, I've read that and I finished Season of Storms so I could read The Daughter of the Moon Goddess in the last three days of the month. And I actually started last night. I only got to 17% and I mean... In reality, I only got like the B-roll of me starting this and then like updated where I was. But honestly, I was just listening to the audiobook. But let's pretend that I was, you know, actually reading. And let's start with Season of Storms, which I forgot to bring here. So I finished it and I mean, I don't have much more to say than I said before, and I don't know if I said this in this video or the previous one, so I love that for me. 
I love that my memory does not function, but basically in this book, Geralt's soul, souls, swords, English, hello, swords, Geralt's swords were stolen and he's trying to find them and, you know, find out who stole them and he gets into some other adventures on the way. And I mean, there's a whole like other plot going on at the same time. And yeah, I mean, it was fun. It was nothing like insane. It wasn't anything that I was crazy about, but it was fun. And I mean, I was mostly reading this book to just have fun with Geralt and Yasker. And that is exactly what happened. And I gave it 3.5 stars and I have officially finished the Witcher series, which is right there. And also the fact that I was reading this book when the dates for season three came out, I was, I was manifesting it. And yeah, I read Awe and this book was literary fiction, which I don't typically read. And so I was a little scared. And I mean, obviously there wasn't like much happening apart from the characters' lives. We were following three different POVs. So we were following Arama, we were following Tawukiri, and we were following a POV that had kind of two people. So it was Jade and Toko. Arama and Tawukiri were brothers and they had lost their parents recently. And so Tawukiri, who was the oldest, I think he was 17, left his youngest brother, Arama, who was eight at their uncle and aunt's house because he just thought that, you know, he would be better there. And then he went to try to live his life, deal with his trauma. And they were both struggling. And I mean, Arama felt very abandoned and his life at his uncle's house was definitely not good. I mean, Tauki was also struggling and he did feel guilty to you know, kind of live his brother, even though he thought he was doing the best, he still felt guilty and he was also missing him and everyone was so sad. And Jaden Toko's story was also, you guessed it, sad. And yeah, this book was just like a roller coaster of emotions. And there were some times that I was reading that I just had to pause and take a second because it was so much and, like the way it was written. It was so beautiful, but like so sad and the end it was intense and if i was like watching this as a movie or as a tv show i would have cried for sure i don't i didn't cry because i it's almost impossible for me to cry the book but i was close i was definitely close and i loved it i loved that it broke my heart and i gave it five stars and that is what i have read i mean daughter of the moon goddess i just at the start, I don't really have any opinions yet, except from the fact that like the first three, four chapters, like so much happened. And I know that a lot of people say this, that this book is very slow. And I mean, I'm sure it will slow down at some point, but the f beginning was a lot. And what else has happened? I have started watching The Purge, like the TV show, because I don't really watch movies. I mean, except if they're marvel or maybe sometimes horror movies but it's very rare for me to watch a movie so i started watching the tv show for no reason other than the fact that i literally woke up and chose violence and it's i don't want to use the word fun because i don't want to sound like a psychopath but it's it's entertaining is that better i don't know and i mean when i say i started watching it i mean i watched season one and it definitely got better towards the end and I mean, like I said, it's entertaining. It's nothing, you know, it's not the best show I've ever watched, but it's it's going. And I also watched a football game. And when I say football, I mean like not the American kind, soccer. And it was like such a low stakes game because it was not of like the team I support. And I haven't just watched a random football game in so long. When I mean random, it's just, it's not like, from a random country, it was from Portugal, but it was like, like I said, not the team that I support, it was just on TV and I was like, sure, let's watch it. And yeah, it was fun. Low stakes football is very relaxing because otherwise it is very stressful. And I mean, why was my team not playing? Because they were already eliminated from this competition, which 
you know, love that for me. But yeah, I mean, obviously I had a preference, but if they didn't win, which they didn't, I didn't really care. And yeah, that is it. I think that is everything that has been happening. And I still haven't called the dentist. I put it on like my to-do list to do today, but will I? Because I feel like I need five to 10 business days to prepare and then five to 10 business days to recover from that surely traumatic experience. I really want to start Babel. It's like there on top of my piano and I'm just looking at it. I'm like, I want to read you so bad right now. But I first need to finish Star of the Moon Goddess. And I don't know if I will have time to do both. I mean, I definitely won't finish Babel, but I mean, start, just start like one page. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you again probably on Monday. So it's the end of this reading vlog and firstly I want to say that I watched the second season of The Purge and it was actually so good and I mean it was so different from the first and yeah I was pleasantly surprised it was really good had a lot of again is fun the right word I don't know but I did have a lot of fun and then I I started reading Babel but I mean I barely started so I don't have a lot to say, but I am really liking it. And with really liking it, I mean that I'm feeling anger and sadness. And I did read The Daughter of the Moon Goddess. And in this book, we followed the daughter of the moon goddess, who was called Xingyin. And she, like her mother, like I said, was a moon goddess. They lived on the moon and they lived there because her mom had been exiled to like she had to stay there on the moon but one day Xingyin's magic like reveals itself basically and now she has to run and she has to leave her mom leave the moon like the only place she's ever known the only people she's ever known and she's trying to make it in the celestial kingdom and she can't reveal who she is uh, because like I said, her, like, her mom was exiled. They don't re even know like that she exists. And so she has to hide who she is. And then she has the opportunity to train with the emperor's son. Both her magic and also fighting skills. And she ends up choosing archery. And at the same time that she is learning her skills, she's making a plan on how to basically save her mom. And in the first part of this book, I felt like it was going so fast. I think I said it like when I was in the beginning that I feel like it was going so fast. And like everything was happening very quickly. And I was having trouble like connecting to the characters and what was happening and all of that. And then it definitely slowed down. But I still feel like at some points the pacing was a little weird. And I, and I think this is a me thing, like not liking romance. I didn't really care. It's not that I didn't like it, but honestly, like I couldn't care less. But other people seem to really like it. So I think it's just a me thing. 
but I was worried that it was gonna be like too much about the romance and not about the plot. And I mean, the romance was very like a very big point of the story, but, but it like it had enough plot for me to really enjoy it. And yeah, like the plot itself, I was really liking and I was really invested in. And I also really liked the main character as well. And yeah, I mean, I liked it. It wasn't like my favorite book ever, uh, but it was fun. I gave it 3.5 stars. And I'm not sure if I want to read the sequel because, I mean, obviously there are things that are unresolved, but at the same time, it had like a satisfying enough conclusion. And I'm not like obsessed with it, so... I mean, maybe I will pick up the sequel at some point, but not right now. And yeah, I don't think anything else happened. This was not an eventful weekend at all. I was just chilling, honestly. And yeah, that is everything. So let's wrap up everything that I read this week. So I finished Season of Storms. I finished Map of Bones. I read Kowalski's In Love. I read The Skeleton Tree. I read Awe. I read... The Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and I read the beginning of Babel, which I think was 45 pages. Yeah, 45 pages. And that gives me a total of 1,342 pages, which I am uh, very happy with. And I mean, that's definitely more than I usually read. I mean, anytime it reaches like a thousand pages, I am very happy. So that is it. That is the end of this weekly reading vlog and thank you for watching i really hope that you have enjoyed it and if you did give it a like and subscribe and i will talk to you next time bye